So I'm with Louise Briscoe. Louise was married to Jimmy Briscoe, who was a longtime Hollywood shorty. And he was also, well, tell us, tell us about Jimmy and his, and his involvement with the shorties. Jimmy um, came back from the circus and um, got involved in LPA. And he found out about a, a team called the Hollywood Shorties. And I guess one of his LP friends told him that they wanted him involved. And he got, and got on the basketball team. And he became, he was like the jokester of the team. He would put this helmet on, he blew the whistle, he directed traffic of, of the players. He loved every minute of it. And he was sad when it was over. Yeah. The film itself is now, it was six years ago, seven years ago, if you can believe it. Um, you saw the film. What are some memories? How did you feel about seeing the film for the first time? Where did, where did you see it for the first time? You. I think we saw it in the movie theater, didn't we? Were you at the Chinese theater for yeah, that one? Yeah, we went to the okay. Chinese theater in Hollywood. And that was the first you had seen it? Yeah, and then after that, I, we saw it at the house because it was on Netflix. Yeah, yes it was. <laughs> and I, I've seen it around, I've seen the movie around 10 times. Oh my it. goodness. Yes. Because every time I saw saw it, it was, I would notice something different. <laughs> right. And it was it was like coming back home okay. to something that I loved. Okay. And I would go see it in person, and now it's in it's in on film. Yeah. And it's there forever. Okay, I've never asked you this question, but yeah. like you lived the history of the Hollywood shorties. You were there front row. For, not from the beginning. Not from the beginning, but for a good twenty years, probably. Yeah. yeah. How, how accurate maybe, or how truly did the film, I guess, capture? Every it, it captured a hundred percent of what what happened, okay. but not after the fact. Sometimes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's some places I didn't go. With no, the film some places perhaps. you didn't go and didn't should not be. Right. But uh, when it started to when the game ended, you were there, and it was a lot of fun. And everybody loved it. Tell, so that's what I wanted to ask is like here seven years on, like how has the film worn on the community? Like what impact has it had on the community? How is it held? How is it regarded in the community, I guess? Well, it's like, it's sort of, like, it's a documentary. It's educational. It helps little pe people, young little people say, oh, there was a team that I could be on. I could play basketball. I could be a I could be one of everybody else being little and be able to play basketball mm. and not have to worry about the tall, six foot tall guy on the team. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it, it's educational in the sense that it's a, it's a learning experience. Mm. You can have fun and so be little, enjoy a sport and, and, not, and be included in the sport that you thought you weren't going to be able to play. Mm. Cool. That's it. That's all I don't know. Is that enough? That's enough. Okay. <laughs>